Good morning. We are here doing another visual podcast of Inner Neighborhood. We have a special guest by the name of Carmen Jacobson that works at Safeco Insurance and my partner in the agent, Janet Duffy. As normal, she's going to kind of take it away and get us started. So thank you, Todd, and welcome, Carmen. <laughs> thank We're you. We're excited. This is the first time that we've actually interviewed somebody from our industry. Oh, yes. love that so, one. Honor. Right? <laughs> yeah. so, so welcome to yeah. our neighborhood. Thank yeah, you. So, that's right. and, and that's kind of, um, I guess, what we hope to do today is learn a little bit more about you because this is your first time that we've met you yep. here in our office in Great Falls. So who is Carmen Jacobson? Well, that's a loaded question. Uh, so. it is. Sorry, <laughs> no, spot so quickly, but that's how we do it. <laughs> I love, no, I love it. And um, thanks for having me in your neighborhood. I appreciate it. It's my first time actually to Great Falls as well, and I love it here so far. Um, I am a mother, grandmother. <gasps> No way. Um, you I look like you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a plastic surgeon? Yeah, no? I know, right? <laughs> Botox is our friend. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I have um, four children um, and I have several uh, spouses that come with them and then I have four grandchildren as well. So um, very busy. Two of my grandchildren I help kind of co-raise with my husband. Um, oh my he's our goodness. youngest son. So yeah, so we're busy. Um, we are very outdoorsy. So we love to ride side by sides and boats. And um, I live in Post Falls, Idaho. So I'm very... <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, well, oh, so yeah. you have a good yeah. understanding of our market. I, I do, I do. <laughs> yeah. I live in a small snow. town and, and I get snow. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, not this, not much this year, but again, like mm -hmm. I said, it, that's right. okay. I'm, yeah. Um, so we are pretty active. I believe in work hard, play hard is kind mm -hmm. of my mantra. Um, and then I'm also an insurance um, industry person. So I'm a senior territory manager for Safeco Insurance. I love what I do, which is why I commute. Um, I don't know if there are many jobs I do that for, but I love where I live, but love what I do. And so it's a, a good blend and it gets me out okay. kind of traveling as well, which I like. So. And you're at an age where you're Children are all grown and you can travel yep. now. So. Yep, I love it. So where did you grow up? Yeah, so I'm a little all over. So technically I was born in Kalispell, Montana. Oh, nice. Yes. There you go. So another, I can claim being local. a Montanan. Yes, that's right. Um, I say I'm, I was raised in California, <laughs> oh. um, which some people love, some people don't. Um, and then it, as I was younger, teenagers, my parents realized it was time to come back. Things were just getting mm -hmm. too big city and a bunch sure. going on. Um, and so we moved back to Libby, Montana for a little oh bit my where gosh, my grandparents seriously? were. Yep. My parents are still there and are my brother. They? Yep. Yep. Oh, wow. They are. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, I was there yep. a couple years ago. My oh. hometown is Whitefish. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so my sister um, lives in Whitefish, and a couple of my best friends over in uh, the Flathead. So, yeah, uh, small world. So that's why I'm kind of an all-over person. Uh, so, and so we went to Libby for a while, and then went to Spokane um, Valley area, and then I bought my home like 20 something years ago in oh. Idaho. So yeah, so I'm kind of all over. And, and yeah. that makes sense, right? Because <laughs> yeah. you're kind of yep. rooted in the same place. <laughs> yeah. So how did you choose insurance? Like, uh, So by accident. So <laughs> yeah, so either you, you kind of are born into it or know a person or you kind of stumble upon it. I was a stumble upon it. So I was in um, another industry forever, wanted to change, was trying to decide, do I go to school? What do I do um, for, you know, a trade or whatever. And um, read a job description for Safeco out in uh, Liberty Lake. And I loved the description. And when I interviewed, I loved the people and the concept. And nice. I've been in it ever since. So wow. I won't go anywhere else probably so, so did you start as an agent uh, this is yeah, just yeah 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 so okay. so so I started in our inside sales team and I've been wow. in sales the entire time so I haven't um, uh, unfortunately done claims or anything else very close with people that do it but have been in that kind of role for almost 20 years now so wow. for a while exactly yeah so you kind of touched upon how you chose Safeco yeah. because of the job description, and you've touched upon what your role is and kind of what you do as the territory manager. So what do you least like about what you do? Yeah, so what I like and what I least like are probably very similar. It's oh, a weird, okay. I know. So, so I help agents um, kind of figure out what they what their business is and how do how do you get out in the community how do you do things with so things like this ideas oh, awesome. um, and then how do you understand and, and sell Safeco as mm -hmm. part of that right, right. so if, if you're doing well and your customers are doing well we kind of help grow with you um, and and so part of what I, I don't love is 
kind of people not understanding how important insurance is and right. why right. It, it's about coverage and and you know things that can happen right we right. were just talking earlier about just how scary it is yeah. Yeah. Um, and I've had personal experiences with you know coverage needs and stuff for myself and my sure. family um, and then um, what I love is kind of getting to meet new people and traveling. I've been married a long time, so breaks are good sometimes with my right. husband, but sometimes we're like, hey, is it time that, for a that, 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 That's why you own? travel, huh? That's why I travel. Um, so part of what I don't like is sometimes the travel does take me away during times sure. that stuff's going on at home, or right. hey, I would like to be on the lake boating today, but right. well, yeah. You, yeah. In, in that area, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it goes hand in hand, and so I try to balance that. Mm -hmm. So it's really good to know that you were in the trenches, actually, because right. it is a tough industry and it's become even tougher just in the last few months Absolutely. Um, as an observation. Yeah. So yeah. what kind of trends yeah. are you seeing? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, I will say I think it's, it's a, a hard market for everybody right now. And um, in my opinion, things like the inflation rate and stuff, customers are seeing and understanding a little bit more. And I think customers are uh, being more aware of what they need and asking questions and the importance of coverages, which I like. I think yeah. this is a good time while it's hard because of you know looking at things cost-wise. Um, they are caring more and it gives you guys a chance to explain why things are so right. important. Well, and that's really important to, to us, us. Yeah. to educate yeah. our clients. Yeah. You know, we want yeah. them to understand what they have and why why they have it and why it's important and, to them. And yeah. do they need, you know, do they need more? Where, where's their, yeah. are we protecting all their assets? I mean, it's, yeah, exactly. yeah, it's all that. So how do you support agent? I know that, yeah. I know, yeah. we know that you're not gonna only see us <laughs> yeah. today, right? right. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so, right. so how do you support uh, local, yeah. local agents? Uh, so one, um, I ask questions like, what are you doing? Tell me more. Um, and, and how do I help um, agents, again, get out in their community mm -hmm. more? So again, it's not about just 1-800 number me, right? Okay. So it is, and it can be that way and sometimes and people mm -hmm. have a quick need and, and that's important too. Sure. But it is truly about, you know, how you guys do live and breathe in the community. How do I help you guys promote that, understand exactly. the importance of that, how to understand the importance of telling your customers who you are right. and coverage based things and asking the questions versus, you know, here's kind of a, a price. And I think that is the value of an independent agent. So my job is to help agents understand that or have ideas to do that. Um, and again, how to kind of grow your referrals and have them tell your friends and, and you know, and, yeah. and help each other in the community. So Yeah, that education is so important. Yeah. It's just amazing how much, even over the years, the mm -hmm. customers don't know when you talk yeah. with them. Yeah, which is scary. It is. Yeah. It is. And that's why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you again for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Carmen. And stay tuned for more with Inner Neighborhood. Thanks, guys. <laughs>